Which one should you use, flashcards or Anki? I prefer Anki, let me tell you why. If I were to choose one single reason as to why I prefer Anki over flashcards, it would simply be its convenience. Are you on the bus? Do a few flashcards until you arrive at your destination. Are you waiting for your classes to start? Then do a few flashcards before your classes start. Are you waiting for an appointment? Then whip out your phone and memorize a few words in a foreign language. The situations in which you can use Anki are endless, assuming that you have your phone and it is charged. That isn't to say that you can't bring your flashcards with you out of the house. You certainly can. However, it is significantly more inconvenient than just pulling out your phone. If you do decide to take your flashcards with you out of the house, then the chances of you losing your flashcards are significantly higher than the chances of you losing your phone. And if you do end up losing your phone, then you have much bigger problems to worry about than your flashcards. To extend upon this point further, because you have your phone everywhere you go, you will have your flashcards with you wherever you go. Additionally, because this information is on your phone, you won't have to go out of your way to clear your desk to make room for flashcards, or just make room for flashcards in general. You won't have to worry about where to put them. They're just always on your phone. One of the big pulls of Anki is the space repetition software built in with the app. This software allows for a more efficient use of your time by selectively presenting the cards that you struggle with more often than the cards that you don't struggle with. And what is my opinion on this? Well, I think it's lovely. It allows me to practice the words I struggle with more so than the words that I don't struggle with, which is great. Creating your own struggle stacks with flashcards is possible, but it is significantly more convenient with Anki because I don't even have to think about which cards I struggle with, which cards are, you know, kind of in the middle and which cards I find really easy. Anki just does it all for me. Finally, the ability to create flashcards with only using your phone is extraordinary because you don't have to buy any of the materials required to create your own flashcards. All you need is your phone. And because it's on your phone, you have the option to download decks that other people have made and use them for yourself, saving an enormous amount of time. I have not done this myself, but I can imagine the time that it would save. Because creating flashcards takes a long, long time, surprisingly. Though there are many things that Anki excels at, there are things that physical flashcards do that the app just can't replicate. And more importantly, these features can make using physical flashcards a better option for you than using Anki. Firstly, the ability to customize the words that you practice and the ability to create unique handcrafted stacks is far superior when you're using physical flashcards. To highlight the strength, consider for a moment that you are sitting in front of a giant stack of physical flashcards that you yourself have just created. You can also organize your stacks by difficulty, those that you struggle with, those that are fine, and those that are really easy. You could also organize your stacks into ones that you do know and ones that you don't. And you could even mix and match between ones that you don't know that are selected by topic and ones that you do know that are selected by topic, what have you. I'm sure that there are many more useful ways to organize your stacks that I just haven't thought of. Something that I have done in the past that Anki just can't replicate is learning new words using flashcards. Not just reinforcing what I already know, but learning new words. What I would do is I would get stacks of 10 or 15 flashcards and I would just drill them until I knew them and move on to my next stack. Once I completed all of my stacks, then I shuffled all the cards, put them into new stacks, and did it again. So that way I wasn't memorizing the mere order of the words, but the words themselves. Which is something that would be near impossible if you were to use Anki. Another anecdotal point that I'm willing to share is that I care a lot more about my physical flashcards than I do cards on an app. I don't know about you, but whenever I use Anki, I find myself mindlessly saying I don't know to things that I could probably figure out if given enough time. And then when I flip over the card, I think, oh, I knew that and then I write mark it as easy when it really it shouldn't have been easy. It should have been like hard or I don't know. So then, then it'll skew all my stacks and then it's just it's just no good. So in order to stop myself from half-assing using flashcards, I create physical flashcards that I have to physically turn over and think about, hmm, do I know the word? And if I do, then great. If I don't, then I'll find out instead of just mindlessly tap, 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 tap. You know, you know how it goes. Speaking of tap, 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 Let's talk about distractions. In my opinion, if you are going to study flashcards, creating physical flashcards would lead to a lot more of a focused atmosphere for yourself. When you sit down at your desk, put your phone away, get out your flashcards, get ready to work, you can get 
so much done. But if you sit down in a chair, you pull out your phone, get ready to work, pull up Anki, and then you realize, oh, I haven't checked Instagram in a while. I wonder if anybody snapped me. That sort of thing kind of creeps into your mind if you have your phone out in front of you. So when you use physical flashcards, you won't have any of that as long as you, you know, put your phone away. And when I, when I say put your phone away and like give the motion of tossing my phone, I mean like, like, tossing your phone onto your bed and then going to work, you know. Also, it's worth noting that you can put your phone on do not disturb, but in my opinion, that doesn't really help too much because you still have a stick of dopamine in your hand. When you study flashcards, you start to get bored and your mind starts to wander and you want that hit of dopamine you get from checking social media. And I'm not saying that studying on your phone is impossible, I'm just saying it's significantly more difficult to do so in an effective manner. And this isn't particularly prominent, but studies have shown that you memorize things better when you write them down on a piece of paper rather than a tablet or a computer. Just an FYI. So yeah, those are the, the pros and cons of Anki versus physical flashcards. I hope you took this information and are able to use it to, you know, decide which one might be best for you. I recommend Anki if you don't have a lot of time to study, but I recommend flashcards if you do have the time to study and want to study effectively.